Okay, once again, welcome back everybody to Game Developers Club for the week of, first week of March, new month, new life. So, uh, again, if you guys have any questions at all ever, feel free just to shoot them out or to leave them in the Twitch comments or email me or send me a message on Twitch or comments on the YouTube videos or, you know, email me through those YouTube videos, you know, anything. I'm available, I like to answer you guys' questions, anything you guys need, I wanna be here to help. So last week we finished, we finished last week doing a little bit of work in Unity, and we also talked a little bit about our bad guys and our aquatic bad guys and possibly a toucan, I mean, you know, we'll see. So, kind of on that note, I was thinking maybe we could transition into maybe get a little more details about our environment. You know, I mean, we were, I know we were talking about, I'll write it up here, in orange. Orange for environment. It is a great pen. So I know that we were talking about how we kind of, it's going to be on an island, and we're going to give it sort of a, a jungle feel and that sort of thing. Are we good now? Yeah, we're going. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And we want to give it sort of like this jungle feel with like a mix of kind of steampunk added to it. So let's just kind of dive into that, right? So what do you guys think in terms of environment? You guys want to stick with jungle? Is that sort of like an overall feel that we're kind of on this stranded jungle island? I think so. Maybe make it sort of like exotic? Mm -hmm. Exotic. Jungle, hey, Oh, another thing here also, I guess I'll just throw this out also for everybody watching at home and, and you guys here, that we're not gonna end up, we're not gonna have the game jam this weekend. I'm gonna hold off on that. Um, we might, we'll probably do it, I'm hoping to do it sometime this month, but I emailed a bunch of teachers around the school about going and speaking to their classes to try and recruit more people. So hopefully we'll, hopefully I'll get emailed from them, hopefully I'll get emailed back from them today with sort of an availability and time they want me to come by and talk. And uh, if, any, if you, any of you guys want to come with me, that's cool. You totally can. I don't, like I said, I don't know when the times are and for what classes it'll be. But hopefully we'll record, recruit some more people. Like I was saying, I know we really need artists. We're all programmers here, so that would help diversify. On the same note though, I mean, we're, we're not like limiting ourselves to only artists. You know, if more programmers want to join, by all means, you know. We could have a full development team of programmers and have a pretty bad looking game. <laughs> no, it, was, it runs amazingly. Yeah, but it's so efficient, right? No. Um, anyways, on that note, again, no 24 hour game jam this weekend. So we'll try to get it done sometime this month. Hopefully we'll get, it, get that rolling. Because like I said, that's the majority of the development that we're gonna be doing. I mean, if we can get, you know, 12 people there that are all there working for 24 hours. I mean, granted, we probably won't, won't all be working for 24 hours, but let's just say we'll at least get, you know, like 10 hours of work out of each person, you know, I mean, that's a that's a pretty hefty amount of time and, and amount of development time to put into the game, so that's, that'll be really great, but let's, we're going to hold off on doing that this weekend, so anybody watching at home or anybody watching the YouTube videos, also send out an email about it that we will not be having a, a meeting, not having a meeting this weekend. Okay, so with that said, um, did you have any questions? I need to scan. Questions. Questions from like this weekend or anything like that? Just uh, no. Okay, great. And we're gonna jump back in. We're gonna start talking about our environment. Last week we were talking about kind of our villains and our bad guys and how we wanted to look and feel. And we talked about the character. We have all these things created, which is great. So we want to jump now into <coughs> how we want our environment to feel. So we said it's gonna be a sort of an exotic jungle, right? But we need it to be in sort of a steampunk era. So. What, what other additions do you think we should make to this environment, this exotic jungle that we're stranded on that gives it sort of a feeling of steampunk? Should it be organic? Or should it be like all steampunky trees? Or half and half, sort of? We could definitely have a mix, you know? I think that in terms of gathering materials, we're gonna need some form of organic stuff, right? Because we're gonna need to take tree bark or tree wood from trees and stuff like that. But I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind having a mix. I think that'd be cool, like a steampunk tree. I don't know what that would look like, but we can find out. You could have maybe like um, like ruins, but like the steampunk building 
Sorry, the ruins instead of like what you think of when you think of typical ruins. Like, I just don't know what a steampunk ruin will be. Uh, I don't know. know. We have to figure that out. Like, well, you know, we could have like we could have like maybe uh, it's like this exotic jungle, but these abandoned steampunk buildings, right, are just normal buildings you would see. You know, you just like when we look outside today, we see all of these very, very materialized buildings that are have very more or less same structure, you know, they're all very square looking, they got a bunch of windows in them, they usually have some interesting colors. So instead of having this like tribal feeling jungle, maybe the ruins would just be some old abandoned buildings maybe that are kind of cut down, broken up, because that could kind of play into the whole cyborgs were taken over by robots sort of thing. Okay. Okay, so I'll put, well first I'm going to put, um, I'll put organic. Organic slash uh, robotic mix. Now we can say uh, ruins could be. We're saying could be more like um, but ruins will be sort of a new age, new age style, new new age buildings, I guess. Like after time has been, like it's not gonna look like a shiny new building, right? It's good. It's, okay. Maybe kind of crumbled. I mean, exactly what you think of when you think of a ruin. You know, I mean, maybe a lot of moss growing up on these structures, but instead of these old tribal and and like very archaic looking structures, it'll be sort of structures that we would see in today's world. Like modern. Exactly. Modern. Modern day. I guess that's better. I'll I'll put that instead of new age. I'll just put modern. If I put new age, maybe people would think that's like real, really futuristic. When we return to this in a couple weeks or whenever, we're really putting the artwork into it. All right, so modern. Okay, what else for this environment? What do you guys think? We're gonna have. We were talking about having our safe, our checkpoints, being being able to access those. What do you think those should look like? Little I imagine metal boxes. Like I was kind of thinking, like almost like a little kind of towerish looking thing, with like a little tower. What do you mean? Like how um, tall is this little tower in your mind? Twice the size of the character. Okay. But like not like a huge like jetting out to everywhere tower. Okay. And what were you thinking? Like a like some kind of box or device like stuck to a tree kind of thing. Oh, okay. Like so we kind of like built in with maybe an organic look to it. Maybe it's a type of tree, maybe it's like a, a special tree. Oh, that'd be that. cool. And that kind of, kind of a towering mm -hmm. sort of tree. It's definitely something, some type of tree that would look different than all other trees, right? Yeah. Very, see. very stick out. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I think that's kind of cool. What do you think? Kind of cool. Sure. Okay. I kind of imagine like a little like kind of robot type thing, like mm -hmm. almost like attached or embedded within it that would like that way when you first see the first one it can actually talk to you and tell you what it is and then have interactions with you as you find more yeah. something I kind of imagine but could be like oh, a not necessary robot, well we can have a uh, maybe the real robot maybe like a little robot monkey or something he comes hanging off a tree and he's <laughs> like hey come here and check it out or something maybe we could have somehow our companion is able to interact with this mechanical tree in some way, and that's how we do it. Good idea. Okay, well, I'll put a um, checkpoint will be, um, let's put a checkpoint. Uh, that'll be a, I guess, robotic tree. So it mentions maybe a flag that you raise during a sense of completion. Sure yeah, is. I like that. Maybe not necessarily flag. We could definitely put uh, like you bet here kind of thing. Uh, completion indicator. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like if it's a robotic tree, maybe all the leaves change color. Oh, that'd be cool. It's like oh, that'd be really cool. We could, and that's definitely something we could do. It wouldn't be too heavy to implement. A completion indicator. So completion of what? Like a. Just like you have been here. Oh, so okay. if ever, if oh, I mean we haven't like I said you know we haven't really designed this world too much yet but given the sense that it's going to feel pretty big to the player. 
there probably will be times where they'll be walking around and they'll be like, oh, I haven't been there yet, but they actually have been there. So this will be a good way to let them get a sense of progress and a sense that they are, they are moving in the right direction throughout the world. Okay, I like that, that's a good idea. Okay, cool, cool, I think that's good for our checkpoints. What else in our environment will we find walking around? We got buildings, we got checkpoints. Gotta have types of water, I think. Different types? Like maybe like a river, like there's like maybe a big river, or okay. like a lake or something. Okay, well we don't have an, we have an ocean, right? Right, yeah. That's like, okay, just making sure that's, that's still where we're at. The yeah, well, that's like the main water, sure. Mm -hmm. um, okay, but I would, I would like that. We can incorporate a lake and maybe have a... Um, how are we going to make that feel steampunk, though? If there's a lake or a river, maybe, how would that feel steampunky? The river could be moving upwards due to some steampunk contraption. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Moving backwards, essentially. Like maybe the people have devised, you know, stuff to draw water out of the ocean so it's going up. Like I kind of Inside. imagine like a bunch of like spinning That's, like cool. troughs that are like intertwining and like they keep pushing it upwards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Maybe we, maybe our character could maybe totally just a thought. Maybe our character could somehow ride that up into the village as sort of a shortcut once he finds it. Or maybe he maybe the character would have to enable that somehow. Maybe he maybe he goes to the village when he originally gets to the village and there's still all these robots now like we need water. I don't know why we need water, but you know for whatever reason they need water sent to their village. So then maybe your original first mission then to help them out in some way could be like, you have to enable this. And maybe that could be part of our puzzle crafting system, right? To where you have to enable this water to be able to go upward. You have to get this turbine down on the beach to start turning to pump the water upward into the village. You can do that. And then maybe if you don't do it, then when you go to the alternate world, it's something kind of different. There's either consequence or a benefit to doing it or not doing that. But I like that. We're getting too much too detail, but I like this idea of uh, of an upward flowing river. I was thinking, what if water is their source of power? Yeah. That could be why they need it. Upward flowing river. That's cool. That's so steampunky. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, what about its color? Should all the water just be blue? Like normal? Should it be a different color? Maybe the ocean be blue. Maybe we can have a different water be a different color. It should be like rusty. Like maybe as it flows upward, it gets it drives with the metal. It's How's it gonna look rusty versus just looking dirty though? Oh, maybe like the really bottom orange. Is I think would be mm -hmm. like like oh, the rocks to the bottom. Okay. The, okay. The, the, the bank of the river is covered in rust. I don't know. I'll put rusty, and then in uh, another bracket, I'll put steamy, steampunk. Steamy? Yeah. Water. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. That's a good environment. Anything else you guys want to add to this for sort of an overall feel? I mean, like I said, this is just a very general sense of kind of how we want our world to sort of be and how we want it to how we want it to feel, more or less. Well, do we want like every single inch to be jungly, or do we want like a mountain? Do we want one of the islands to be bare? Uh, like different ecotypes mm -hmm. around around the island. Yeah, like one so, of the islands doesn't have to be completely covered in trees or something. Okay, maybe maybe one of the islands is very, very heavily like ruined, modern. <laughs> However, we're going to call that some type of building in that way. We can definitely do something like that. Mm -hmm. um, we'll put that in the. Depends on like how like if we make it like massive, it would make sense to have different like little ecosystems. Like the mm -hmm. exotic jungle could definitely be most of it, and maybe like all of like the center and most of the outside is. But maybe there's like a little chunk of like desert or yeah. I'm gonna just put different different ecosystems. 